everybody, it is Nat, and today I'm here with a really exciting video. Today I'm going to be sharing with you my top 10 favorite trilogies. So, like most people, I love a good trilogy, so I'm really excited for today's video. I read trilogies all the time. I feel like for a while that was pretty much all I read. That's all I really wanted to read. So, I'm really excited about this video. It's fun. I have some good books on this list. So, yeah, I'll just go ahead and get into the video, but just so you know, these are in no particular order. Okay, like always, I say they're in no particular order, but this first one is my absolute favorite. Um, this first one is my favorite series, or my favorite trilogy of all time, and that is Partials by Dan Wells. I seriously love this series so much. I feel like it's so underrated. It's just, it's amazing. Pretty much this series ah, is so good. Pretty much it's about kind of this incident, like apocalyptic world where humans have made these robots that look exactly like humans and there's really no way to tell the difference too much. I mean they act differently but from a distance it's really hard to tell. Um, but the humans and they call them partials because they're like partially human but the humans and the partials hate each other and pretty much in this apocalyptic world um, the humans were using the partials to fight for them but then the partials started to fight back and kill all the humans and they released this virus that kills pretty much all humans so it's kind of just about the remaining humans trying to survive and the main girl she meets some partials and it's kind of just about her adventure and trying to like make peace and just make the planet better but I just feel like I hear nobody talking about this series and it's seriously one of my favorites it's so good it's very scientific which I really liked I but like not like hard to like understand scientific um like <laughs> I don't know how to explain it well but it's good it's not like boring scientific um, but I like seeing kind of more like the, like the chemistry and the, the science aspect of it and I just think it is so good the ending has such a nice like conclusion and just like it all comes together so good and seriously everybody should read the series because it's amazing. Next up on my list is a series that I'm sure you are all familiar with and that is The Hunger Games by Suzanne Collins. This is a very very popular trilogy it's had a, a super successful movie franchise very popular um for those of you who don't know which you all should because it's amazing um the hunger games is about again this like futuristic it's like a dystopian but it's about this world where kids every year are thrown into this big battle and have to kill each other and the survivor wins so it's about the main character katniss and she gets thrown into the hunger games and so it's about her trying to survive and then about things happening <laughs> to kind of just make society, society better again. Um, it's super good, super action-packed. I love the meaning behind everything. It also has really good movies. Um, I love movies. This is, The Hunger Games is one of the, like, one of the few, like, movie adaptions that hasn't made me angry, so that's good. Um, but yeah, it's super good. There's just literally so much to the series and I highly recommend it. Next up I also have a really underrated series and that is The Blood of Eden Trilogy by Julie Kagawat. The series is so good and again it's underrated which is crazy because I love it. It's kind of a mix between dystopian and fantasy because it takes place in a dystopian world with vampires. So, so pretty much the main character through a series of events gets turned into a vampire which she absolutely hates because the vampires kind of control everything and they're not very nice to the humans and so pretty much she kind of strikes out on her own because she doesn't want to eat like eat or kill any humans and just a lot of stuff happened it's so dark there are amazing villains in this amazing characters everybody i feel like is so complex everybody has this like a deep emotional struggle that they're going through and i just I love this series, it's so good, and a lot of people, more people should read it because I feel like I never hear it talked about, but it's amazing. Alright, and the next trilogy I have to share with you guys, I'm sure a lot of you will also have on your list, and that is the Divergent Trilogy by Veronica Roth. This was also super popular, the movies suck. Yeah, but my friend, the movies, this series is amazing, it's, I love it. I read it my junior year of high school and I was obsessed with it, it's, ah, <laughs> so, just throwing this out there, it has such a major ending plot twist, make you literally ball your eyes out. This is one of the few books where I think I've cried, uh, and I can count like the amount of books on my hand that I've made me cry. It was insane, but pretty much, if you don't know, um, it's about this girl, Triss, and in her, it's dystopian again, and in her society, everybody is based, um, like, broken up into factions based on kind of what, like, personality 
they most desire, um, like they have the strongest, and there's corrupt leaders and like overthrowing the government kind of, and the leaders like go bad and try and killing everybody, and it's just, it's intense, it's a good, this trilogy is so good, so everybody should really read it, there's some good messages in it also, so if you like that, there's that for you, but seriously, the characters are also amazing, and just, you guys should all read this, it's amazing. Next is a trilogy that I'm sure you guys aren't surprised to find me mentioning in, that is the Queen of the Tearling trilogy by Erica Johansson, I love this series, I actually haven't finished the third book yet, but the first and second, I am obsessed with it, it's so good, it's, it's just, Ah, it's amazing. <laughs> but pretty much this story is about Kelsey, the main character, who she's a queen, but she has been in hiding for 19 years. And the first book takes place when she is finally brought to her kingdom to rule. And there's like an evil queen and just a lot of forces going on. And so pretty much it just follows Kelsey as she tries to be the best ruler she can and fix a lot of the problems that her nation has been left with. And I just, I love it. I love, I really love like castles and royalty and medieval stuff and so this is right up my alley it's so good I just I love Kelsey I think she is an amazing character and so I love reading about her and her struggles and just all of like her thought process and what she goes through so yeah again this is another series that I've, all I mean if these are on my list I think everybody should read them so if you haven't read the series you should go read it next I have the Mistborn trilogy by Brandon Sanderson this is another one that I'm sure a lot of you have heard of I love this series I read it um, almost a year ago and it's amazing. I didn't know too much about it when I decided to read it and it blew me away. It is one of the best written books I've ever read. It's so good. I'm a big fan of books where like things from the last book really tie into things from like the first book and like it's all woven. Like the whole series is planned out rather than the author writes one book and then the next book the next book. You know it's like they planned out the whole thing. I love those type of like series and this is definitely one of those series. It's so good. Things in the ending connect to things in the beginning that you had no idea and it's amazing. There's I mean it's magic but it's like kind of like a scientific magic but it's so good. Um, ah I just I want to be it's called Alamancy and I just want to be an Alamancer so bad. They it's pretty much <laughs> rewind <laughs> pretty much misborn if you don't know um the main thing is that there's like a plot to overthrow the evil ruler but kind of just in this world um they like people who are almancers they swallow metals and that gives them certain powers um it's so amazing so good i could not get enough of this and this is the series that actually started me on brandon sanderson i read a lot of his works now because he's absolutely amazing so if this doesn't even sound good to you i would highly recommend any of his other books because Brandon Sanderson is great, Mistborn is amazing, yeah, once again, you guys should read it. Next up, I have another one, oh my gosh, of course, I have another one that is amazing, and that is the Daughter of Smoke and Bone trilogy by Lainey Taylor. This is honestly probably one of the most creative series I've ever read in my life. I just, it's insane how creative and imaginative and amazing this series is. Um, I won't say too much, but it's pretty much, pretty much a war, and it's about this girl um, who kind of gets caught up um, in this, like, it's kind of a secret war. Um, she gets caught up in this secret war with these things called chimera, which kind of are, like, mixtures of human and animal, and it's just amazing. There's a huge, great, like, star-crossed love story that's spectacular, and just, like, I I love them. There's, again, there's amazing characters, great plot lines, so many different little aspects that come together, and I just, I love this series. It was amazing, and again, one of the, like, most creative and imaginative series I've ever read. Next up is another trilogy that I have not yet finished, but that is the Winner's Curse trilogy by Marie Rotatsky. I think that's how you say her name, but this one is really good. I've read the first two books and so I just need to read the third, but pretty much this series is about a girl who kind of in her society they they have slaves and so she ends up buying a slave and she, through a series of events she ends up falling in love with him and then more things happen and there's kind of not really a war, more like a siege that goes on and just tensions between countries and it's really good. Um, there's lots of like political stuff that goes on too which I really enjoy and I liked the relationship between the two like main characters. I thought it was really good and I just I really like this book. It's I mean I think a lot, it's gotten pretty popular lately. Um, it, it wasn't when I read it but I think I've seen a lot of people reading it now so it, you guys should all check it out if you've like heard other people reading it like reading it because it's really good. Next up I have the Unearthly Trilogy by Cynthia Hand. This is about angels and I really like this book. It was a good like 
kind of more quick read for me, uh, but I really liked it. I liked the main character a lot. I liked kind of the adventure she went through. Um, the third book was okay for me, but the first and second I really enjoyed, and I just, I enjoyed reading her, like, finding out about what she was and, like, finding out all these little, like, secrets. Um, and I really liked the bad guy in this one, too. <laughs> he was really interesting, and I kind of liked, um, like, their relationships. If I had to pick, this would probably be like number 10 on this list uh but it's still really good you guys should all read it it's i haven't read too many books exactly like, i feel like there's not a lot of angel books out there i don't know like one of my favorite series it's not a trilogy one of my favorite series is about angels um but apart from like unearthly and then it's the fallen series but apart from them i can't really think of a few but not a whole ton that have to do with angels which is really fun to read about i mean i like reading about angels so if you guys too you should check out this series because it was really good all right and the last trilogy that i have for you guys on my list of top 10 is the shadow and bone series by lee bardugo this is amazing it's again one that kind of has like magic but not like exactly magic um there's a bunch of different levels but people can just control different things and so kind of the main character she gets it's like gift of light and so it's kind of just I don't even know how to start. This world is so complex. They're called the Grisha that people like have the magical abilities, but there's just like the land they live in is a horrible land and there's like this evil guy who's ruling and the main character kind of just has to go and like save everything and there's a really good love story. There's lots of epic adventures to try and like save the day <laughs> and do things. But yeah, I really enjoyed this book. It's so good. I think it's really creative also and once again, you guys should all read it. If you haven't, but I think that's going to be it for this video. Thank you guys so much for watching. Comment down below some of your favorite trilogies. I would love to know. But yeah, I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.